Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Today I'm showing the 2007 Honda Crossroad that just came in. It's got 110,000 kilometers on it, which is about 68,500 miles. So before I get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you see on the uh, website right now won't be the final price when you get here, okay? So uh, let's, with that, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we'll have a look around and show the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos, gonna answer a lot of your questions. So things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax, I cover all that and more. So please bear with me until the end, you have all the answers. If not, go ahead and contact me or stop on by. This Crossroad is a seven passenger vehicle in the 300 series category, so the larger category. Road tax per year is gonna be uh, 19,000 yen, which is about 160 bucks right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame. So we'll take care of it for you this year. You won't have to worry about it till next. Go up a little bump here. Now you do have two ways to pay for this thing. The first one being US dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount. Or you can take advantage of zero percent financing for 24 months. Now typically we have zero uh, down, but this one is a little higher price, so we may require something down. So just check with us and we'll work with you, okay? All right, so, um, but you know, a lot of people will put like 500 to 1,000 down. Some people even do even more, so. And then uh, this one does not have the rain guards on it, all right? I'll show you this. And even though it doesn't have the rain guards, you always want to get yourself a good windshield visor. Okay, so let's jump on in, get this baby started. All right. Oh, I should uh, show you this. Just right in the middle on the bottom, uh, just look right here underneath that uh, circle. You're going to see a blue and a red um, temperature gauge. All right, so the blue on the left, that's your new temperature gauge. It's going to be blue when the engine's cool. It'll go away like it did now. Uh, because the engine is warmed up and then be red as you saw if it's overheating. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, where's my odometer? There it is. All right, so 110,417 on the odometer. Show a couple of warning lights. Uh, that one right there, obviously your seatbelt one, make sure you wear your seatbelt so you do give tickets on and off base. And then that one right down there is your emergency brake. It's not a low pressure tire gauge. I know it will look similar, but it uh, is a kick type. So when you kick it, disengage, it goes away, kick it again, comes right back on. Well, that is a very simple, straightforward, straight-ahead instrument cluster. Anything pops up on a dash while you're driving, please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action. Off to the left here in the middle, you do have your radio. This one does have a rear camera. Then a couple slots here, maybe for some coins or whatnot, your shifter and air conditioning controls. Um, you have a non-smoking ashtray. You got a power outlet, uh, old school phone and audio video. And then a little tray here, again, maybe for some coins or whatnot. And then off to the left here, above the glove box, you have a compartment uh, for some storage. And then the glove box itself. And then a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel. Okay. That is your passenger space over there. You got your red road flare hanging out. And this is the space I have on my side. The seat is all the way back, all the way down. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. Um, yeah, I'm pretty good right here, if need be, and maybe in an emergency. I'm, I'm very comfortable right where I am, but maybe in an emergency, maybe slide it up an inch or two and I'll still be able to drive. Before I forget, it does have the uh, um, armrest here and a center console, It'll give you two cup holders and a deep pocket uh, storage, okay? Let's go eye level. That's my eye level right there. I can see probably, probably half the hood, I guess. Okay, go all the way back. All right, so I'd like to take this time to show you the auction sheet, showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind, non-accident vehicle. Many dealers can't say that, we can, okay? So this was graded number four from the auction for the overall grade of the vehicle and a CNC for the exterior interior, okay? So it's a really, really clean car, okay? Now saying that it doesn't have a little uh, uh, scrape here and there, but it's a very, very overall con good condition car, okay? And the AC really uh, cranking here. So let's show you a couple other things. Uh, on the right side of the dash, you do have uh, your uh, mirror controls, and then you do have your door locks and window controls on the door panel here. And then down here, please don't forget over near on the right side of the um, of your uh, gas pedal, you do have your gas cover release and then your hood release. Okay, so don't forget that. Anything else that I'm forgetting? Let's see, there's an ETC somewhere. Hold on a second, I'm looking for something. I see the ETC reader, and it looks like it has an aftermarket um, uh, dash cam, but it has an ETC. I, I just don't know where it is. Oh, maybe in here. There you go. It, it's got a, um, a coin slot, uh, coin tray here, and then this guy. This is the ETC reader. It works like easy pass in the States if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway here. So it's an electronic toll collector, okay? So I'm going to turn this vehicle off. We'll go to the uh, 
back seat here, or I should say second row. There you go. And these crossroads are very difficult to get. Very, very difficult. They're expensive. All right, so with the seat all the way back, all the way down, I'm a good inch and a half away from the back seat to my knees, but my my shins aren't hitting this because it actually slopes outward. So um, I don't know, if you move those back, maybe you'll have the uh, same. But uh, as far as uh, uh, swords, nothing as far as swords on the back of the uh, driver's seat, but you do have pocket swords on the back of the passenger seat. As always, be careful what you put in here. It doesn't have a lot of give. You don't want to rip it. And then a little bit of storage slash cup holder on each door panel. And then you do have the option to slide this forward. Okay, I'm not gonna make it all the way, but this is it all the way in the back position, and that's your back space, okay, for your rear passengers. So depending on how tall your passengers are in the second row, that'll determine how much room the third uh, third row gets, okay? And to get to there, all you do is pull this up, that goes, and it slides forward, okay? And then you just slide it back, and then push that back. Very, very simple. Let's go on the back here. So not a whole lot of space back here uh, for storage as is, but you can take these headrests off and these will go flat, okay? And then again, this is the uh, space that you have. And I, of course, I forgot this, uh, this one. You do have cup holders in the back here. You lift up that tab and that'll lay down flat as a cup, uh, as a cup holders and a center armrest. And then back here you do have a uh, cup holder for each of your passengers okay so let's go to the front we're going to show you this engine compartment they're going to wrap this video up all right there you go nice and clean this is a two liter engine okay and there you have it 2007 honda crossroad okay 110,000 kilometers on it which is again about 68 and a half thousand uh, miles Military price goes down to 6800 With additional military discount, we'll get it down to 6600 Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy on um, uh, about the on-the-lot discount. Sorry, somebody just waved to me. <laughs> Lost my train of thought there. But on-the-lot discount, so we'll get you a lower price, okay? But for now, the 6600 is going to include a two-year JCI, the one-year bumper-to-bumper full warranty, the 2022 road tax, the 10% uh, sales tax is already included, and your... Uh, uh, see, now I just almost got hit by a car. So let's start that over, okay? Two-year JCI, one-year bumper-to-bumper warranty, the 2022 road tax, and the 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top is going to be the American insurance requirement, whether you're going liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you uh, with that here. Uh, just to touch on the warranty a little bit, yes, there are places with two-year warranties, but they're not the best thing since sliced bread. So when you come on out here, just ask, and we'll explain why, okay? Uh, but we do encourage you to shop around, go out to the dealers, go out to uh, Lemon Lots, see what everybody else has, but definitely stop by Johnny's Used Cars. Let us show what we have here and what our program's all about and how we can assist you. We are definitely making assistance out here because we are different. So stop on by, we'll uh, show you why, just like we have many others. So don't uh, forget, two ways to pay for it, US dollars cash outright, or take advantage of 0% finance of 24 months with zero down. Either way, we're good to go. So thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.